update. And as we go, we're up about 35 points on the S&P cash. So we're going to watch the uh, Fed numbers are out at the moment, are uh, breaking. So we'll see how that actually uh, ends up being something or maybe anything uh, for that. So uh, it yeah, be kind of interesting. Um, as far as consumer stocks, if they happen to be in the electronics section, of the store and you're invested in them, you may want to start thinking about the Consumer Electronics Show, which starts tomorrow in Las Vegas. Uh, Tesla looks like it's made a low. Uh, we talked a little bit about that on the show yesterday. Uh, we've got uh, a few other things going on besides the Fed minutes, which we'll keep kind of a close eye on. And that is, uh, well, fun buying. Uh, really starts coming in around this uh, period of time. Uh, and uh, it's probably going to be abbreviated, maybe a couple of days. I didn't think that there was a huge amount. Um, I thought more of it would come in probably after two than before. Maybe the numbers leaked or someone told them something. But uh, I was looking for a fairly bullish week to round this out. I'm also... Uh, uh, kind of looking at a great deal of television uh, from uh, CNBC to uh, Bloomberg this morning. Um, and uh, wow, I can't find anybody that thinks the market's going higher. And guess what? Generally, the market goes higher when everybody thinks that the market's going lower. You got to have somebody on the opposite side or you probably have some kind of low. I don't know how long that's going to last. I suspect late into January, though, uh, you may still have a bear case for the rest of the year. As many times on my show, I've brought up the fact that even in a bear market, the market's probably going up three fourths of the of the time on a daily basis. Uh, you need to really uh, trigger those uh, times where it really has the massive slide. Most short sellers uh, stay to the party till midnight. And, of course, their carriage turns into a pumpkin. More about this and more on the show in just a few minutes. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. 